Hey everyone, this is Arma Ops here. Just wanted to discuss the three speed holster and uh, more or less how it looks like on video. I have a few pictures that I'm sharing with you guys as well, but um, I wanted you guys to see the live format of how it actually does look. It's a pretty well built holster and it's made actually right around uh, my area where I live here in Florida. Um, so you guys can check them out if you're local. But um, they don't have a store yet. However, this holster is just fantastic. This is where I actually keep my CC75 um, uh, P01 model. And uh, also has the capability of actually putting spare mag in there. It also has this little side compartment here. And uh, I didn't have it here right now. But you can put uh, Leatherman Wingman, which is... Not something that I recommend because uh, it makes it a little more bulky in that area. But you can put anything else that you might want here in this little side. Um, so you guys can play with it if you ever get this holster. I usually carry my multi-tools in my pockets because I want easy access to them. This is a deep concealment holster. So this is not something that it's going to be uh, primarily for either your uh, 2 o'clock three o'clock or four o'clock though you can do it with this holster it is designed for you to um, you know use it in the different positions around your body I prefer the deep concealment um, just because I do with this holster that's what it was designed primarily around on um, and it feels the most comfortable to me in a deal deep concealment uh, depending on your body type um, and your body size, whatnot, depending on your gut, uh, depending on just your whole overall configuration, deep concealment may not be the best option. Uh, it's not the do all die all holster, it's just an option out of the many that are out there. Um, I know they promote this to be like the one and only holster, and you'll never buy another one after this. Um, again, not uh, that's not something that I would actually. Uh, say uh, myself. I do like the deep concealment option with it. I have tried uh, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. I do not like the 4 o'clock position, but I have tried it. Uh, why? Um, why? Because the uh, 4 o'clock position is actually the least concealed option that I've noticed. Every time you bend or do anything of that sort, it actually shows very easily. You can print. Um, I like to keep it as concealed as possible. So I'll show you here more or less how this actually works. Hopefully you guys can see it on camera. But it does a very good job at actually staying concealed, especially on the deep concealment. I'm not going to try to flash anybody here. So I'll try to do this in different settings. So you guys can see. I do have boxer shorts on, so don't freak out. I'm not going to flash anybody. Um, the ideal way to do it would be with your pants just unzipped like this. Again, I'm not trying to flash anybody, so I'm just going to show you. This is uh, what would be considered like a belly band holster. It just wraps around. It does not require you to have any belts. That's a perk that I personally like. Um, there's no cinching down of belts or anything. Once it's in that position, you can just go ahead and button up your pants, pull up your zipper, and there it is, more or less how it looks. You do have mobility. You can sit down on it. I don't have a chair, so I'm not gonna go squat all the way down, but yes, you can sit down. You do have mobility. And, uh, you know, there is obviously a slight bulk in there. So you might give the wrong impression if you're a guy to a couple of the ladies out there. So make sure you let them know not to get too excited. You're not happy to see them. However, um, it's not too much, especially when you untuck your shirt and you put it right over it, you're pretty much good to go. Nobody's ever looking to see if you got anything down here. I mean, that's the last place anybody's actually looking at, um, unless there's some perverted people out there. But you can definitely, I mean, you can do whatever. I've taken this actually to the gym uh, with uh, gym pants, and it's awesome. I could actually do a workout without having to worry. Um, now, maybe not a full run or anything of that of that sort because you don't want to be running, but 
you can do uh, fast walks, you can do, you know, uh, any kind of weight training and whatnot, so it's not uncomfortable. And the CZP01, CC75P01, it's not a small gun by any means, it's not a light gun by any means, and it still conceals very well in this holster. So a lot of people have been asking me what do I conceal carry with, what is the holster that I uh, actually use for it, and you're seeing it here, this is one of the options. Uh, my next option would be a multi-holster. Uh, they do make a, um, a holster for the cc 75 p one uh, You can also check them out, but that's not the review here. So in this case, it's pretty decent, and I like it. Um, when you are sitting down for a prolonged period of time, if you have a belly, a big gut, uh, this position here with a gun this size is definitely not going to be the way to go. A smaller gun will be better because when you do sit down for a long period of time, this is actually pressing against your, your belly, your gut. So the bigger the gut you have, I think the more uncomfortable it will be on a bigger size gun. On a smaller, you know, XDS or Nano or anything of that sort, Beretta Nano, you would be better concealing this uh, firearm here. But uh, for such a big gun, again, this holster does an amazing job. I mean, it's just, it's just there, and I'm just wearing a t-shirt, so, so that's that. Now, they do also recommend that you actually wear a shirt tucked in, uh, or use your boxer shorts, underwears, anything of that sort, so that you can actually uh, prevent any uncomfort levels that you might be experiencing while the uh, elastic band is against your body. Um, so I think with boxer shorts, the way I have right now, it's more than enough. I really don't need to tuck the shirt in. Um, however, if you do have like a wife beater or tank top, depending on how you call it, um, that actually does um, help you and it makes it a lot more comfortable. If you wear an undershirt and then a button down shirt if you're a guy, That'll work. Uh, this, again, the smaller gun, I think this holster will be amazing for deep concealment for you ladies maybe that, you know, require something that's not that visible. Uh, and the way that you actually present the gun, it has a little indentation built in. So all you would have to do is just kind of push up a little bit on your pants. You've got to make sure that your pant size is not too tight. And this is not the best pants for me to demonstrate this on because it's more on the uh, more my perfect fit type than a size larger but um, I think I can still work it out you pretty much pull up on it you dig in and there you go there it is to put it back in the same way that's it and you're done I mean you're that's it it's a fantastic holster you have the option here again of presenting if you have to do a mag change you could grab your spare mag, pop it in there, and you're good to go. And, uh, I mean, I just really like this holster. So, um, what can I say? I mean, if you're looking for a deep concealment holster, belly band, something that does not require you to wear any belt, you don't need a belt with this, which is awesome. Um, I recommend three-speed holsters for that. Again, it's not the do-all, die-all um, holster. And... Uh, you know, go check them out. 85 bucks, I think, is the, the starting price. And depending on what you add on to it, it'll cost you a little bit more. You can add an ID pocket where you can deep conceal your pocket, uh, your IDs in there or credit cards. Um, you can add that spare mag. You could just keep the uh, gun itself with no spare mag and no ID pocket. So you can mix and match. Um, made in the USA here in Florida, right around the corner where I live. So it's just a... Uh, uh, a great a great product is a very well made I'll pop it out here for a second it does have this elastic band it does have this elastic band and is stretchy um, it does have a breaking period about I think a week or two weeks I can't recall how long the breaking period was but it uh, broke in pretty easily and it conforms to any size whether you wear it on your deep concealment, whether you wear it on a 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, or 4 o'clock. It, it'll just shape just just fine. Um, like I said, I do have a couple of pictures so you can see the 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 4 o'clock.
And uh, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, it came with extra uh, material. Uh, this Velcro um, loop here uh, came a little bit longer, so that way in case you did not get the size you thought you needed, it, they, they bring you a longer piece, so you can cut this once you fit it into your body when you first get it you can cut this to whatever dimensions you want and that's exactly what I did so that way you don't have all these extra material just flopping around um, it feels like uh, like a plasticky hard plastic material that's uh, embedded within here I don't know what it could be but it it allows the holster to kind of remain open where the gun fits in and also the magazine um, very satisfied with it. All the stitching is very well made, very good quality, and uh, you know for the price, I think I got a good a good buy. And for my needs, your needs might be different. You might be in a state where you can open carry, and this holster means meaningless to you. Uh, you can be, you know, depending on what you want. It's your personal preference. If you like the open carry, if you like the kydex, if you, you know. Uh, there's not a single holster there that would ever satisfy a gun owner for the rest of their life. Um, you know, we usually like to try different things and try new things. So this is something new that I tried and I liked, and uh, I do recommend it. Um, you may or may not like it, but you know, hopefully this has given you a few ideas of what you can or cannot do with a holster like this. Three-speed holster. Go check them out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time.